Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to take a look at Stellar Phoenix Photo Recovery. Let's go ahead and open it. Every time you open it, you do have to enter your password. Let's go ahead and open this. And as you can see, you're presented with a nice dialog box here that allows you to simply recover your data. So we do have a few options here. We have data recovery, resume recovery, and create an image. So if we want to recover our data, and this includes photo and video, we can do that. We can recover our data on not only the hard drive, but USB flash devices, all sorts of things. Basically anything that will show up and mount as a drive on your Mac, you can recover. We also have the option to resume a recovery. If we started a recovery, we can leave, we can leave here and go do whatever we need to do, come back and resume that recovery so that we don't have to spend all day if we are looking for something and lose all of that search time that it was looking. We also have an option to create an image, and the image is basically a method for taking sector-by-sector -sector images of a selected region, and as this says, it's useful in case your media has developed bad sectors, and you can use it later to recover data. So what we have here is a micro SD card that I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to scan, and what we'll do is hit Start Scan, and it's going to show you the media. We'll go ahead and say C drives. You can see we have all these different drives here, and we're going to use this drive here, which is really it's a it's a micro SD card, and we'll go ahead and hit start scan. Now it's going to scan our micro SD and come back with what it finds. The card that we're scanning actually contains all of the different video media that I use in my camera when I record videos. And what you'll see is it will go and find past media. Now it does take some time and I'll let this run and we'll come back and when it's done what you'll see is it will start to populate as you can see here with video and MPEG it will start to populate with some previous media that we've had that currently isn't showing on the car once it's mounted in the file system. So we'll go ahead and let this run and we'll come back in a moment to take a look at that. I've now let the image recovery software run for some time and it's come back with a bunch of folders on the left hand side. As you can see under video we have MPEG and WMV, under photos PNG, GIF, TIFF, JPEG, PNG, under music we even have MP3s that it was able to recover. Even though it's photo recovery it's still doing the same basic thing and can find whatever you need it to. Now as you can see here there is an image that shows Zolotech. This is what Zolotech looked like when I first started the site a long time ago, three years ago. And what we have are all of these different images that it was able to recover from years ago. I don't know how long it's been since these images have been on the actual drive, or the card rather. I can scroll up through the old images, and when I want one, I could simply click on it, click Recover, choose where I want to save it. We'll save it on the desktop and we're done. It presents you with the folder and how it's arranged as far as it's being a JPEG and if I hit preview there we go. There's the original Zolotech site from a long time ago and we have that and it, it works quite well. It's pretty amazing that it's able to recover that and that is a long time ago since it's on a Windows computer and I currently use Mac so it has been some time since this image was taken and let's go ahead and close that. Now like I said it does recover MPEGs and WMV files. I'm not quite sure what these are, but what we can do is if we want to recover everything, we can simply select what we want, and in this case we'll select all of the photos, and I guess that'll work. We'll hit recover, and we'll click choose, and it's starting to save all of the files, and we should have everything that we've seen here. Now this will work on just about anything you can imagine drive-wise, Let's go in here and it's rearranged them into all of the different folders of a file type. And here we have JPEGs and as you can see it's recovered quite a bit. There's, there's picture upon picture uh, that I haven't seen in a long time. Receipts and things along those lines. I don't even know how they got on the, the actual card but apparently they were there at some, at some point and this was able to recover those. There you have the photo recovery software from Stellar Phoenix. Now this program is available for Windows as well if you have a, a PC. Uh, it's pretty reasonable. It's $39 and you can get that here. We'll go to StellarInfo.com and as you can see it's $39. They have a lot of different software as well as far as 
Mac tools, there's quite a few different applications that you can pick depending on what your needs are. But for $39, when you're in a pinch and really need that photo that you've lost, it's not a bad deal. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below in the comments. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. We'll see you next time.